So, we're going to build up to the concept of how we represent circles in the xy plane with an equation. So, but before we do that, we first need to establish a concept of distance between two points in the plane. Well, given two points, like say the point 2, 5, and the point 5, 1, you can compute the distance if you know about, Pitha if you know about the Pythagorean theorem. This distance between these two points, 5 minus 1 is 4, and 5 minus 2 is 3. So the distance here is simply going to be the distance squared. I should say, is going to be 3 squared plus 4 squared, if this is our distance d here. Because what we have is a right triangle, a 3, 4, and this will end up being 5 right triangle. So doing the computation, we have that we take square roots of both sides and in this case you know, to be thorough we'll go ahead and put plus or minus but really we're not going to consider the negative answer because distances should be positive so the distance between these two points is just five so to walk from this point to this point means you're walking a total of five units. So how do we generalize this? Well, suppose we have two arbitrary points. We'll call them x1, y1. That's our first point. and x2, y2. This is our second point. And my thought here is that x1, y1, x2, and y2 are all just numbers, just like they were here. 2, 5, 5, 1. All these things would just be numbers. Then the distance between these two points is the following. I have to find how far do I go in x. So I have to take the difference of the x-coordinates. x2 minus x1. And I have to take the distance in the y-coordinates to figure out how far up the leg of this triangle is. So the difference of the y's will tell me that. Now this distance squared plus the horizontal distance, the change in x's squared, is going to equal the square of the distance. So if we want just the distance itself, the square of these two points the square of the distance, rather, is going to be the square of these two, the sum of the squares of these two differences. But if we just solve for this distance, it's going to be the positive square root of the right-hand side. Well, let's make sure we've got the right idea here and that this idea agrees with our example. So if we plug in 
let's say this is our second point, this is our x2 comma y2, and this is our x1 comma y1. Again, the idea is all these x1s, x2s, y2s, y1s, these are all numbers, and they're going to be replaced by numbers. So we're going to do the difference in x-coordinates, x2 minus x1, 5 minus 2, and then the difference in y's, so 1 minus 5. And when we're done with this computation, we should get 5 if this idea of ours works. 5 minus 2 is 3. 1 minus 5 is a minus 4. 3 squared is 9. Minus 4 squared, minus 4 times minus 4 is a plus 16. 9 plus 16 is 25, and square root of 25 is 5. Everything checks out.